Hi everybody, Juliana here. Welcome back to Bay Cook Travel. Today we'll be starting a new series of episodes, classic French recipes. I have a special passion for French pastries and desserts. Everything is so beautiful and delicious. I will show you everything you need to know to be a French pastry master in your own kitchen. And today to start, I will be making a recipe that is so popular, not just in France, but around the world, brioche. Brioche is a French sweet bread made with a large amount of eggs and butter. They're very soft and tender and the flavor is just amazing. They're used in many different recipes and ways, such as for French toast, burgers, mini field buns, dinner rolls, and in lots of dessert recipes. Today I will show you the basic recipe and two different ways that you can make it at home as a simple bun for breakfast, for meals, sandwiches, and also as a dessert bun. So, let's make some brioche, and as they say in France, como sans? So, into your mixing bowl, add 125 ml of milk, 4 grams of dry instant yeast, Give a little mix and add 500 grams of bread flour, 4 eggs, 30 grams of sugar, and 5 grams of salt. Using the hook attachment, mix all ingredients on low to medium speed until they start to combine, about 5 minutes. Then gradually add 250 grams of soft cold butter and keep mixing it. Bring the speed to medium and keep mixing until the bun is really well incorporated. When you see the dough forming a ball shape and it starts to come out from the mixing bowl, it's ready. It will be nice and sticky. Add the dough to a large bowl, folding the sides to the middle like this and forming a ball shape. Cover the dough with plastic wrap and let it prove at home temperature for 40 minutes to 1 hour, until it doubles in size. After proofing, press on the dough, remove the air inside, and flatten it over a tray with plastic wrap. Cover the dough and place in the fridge overnight. If you're in a hush, you can prove and place in the fridge for 30 minutes, it will be also good. But for the best brioche buns, it's best to rest the dough overnight. Your buns will be so soft and tender. And now it's time for you to drop a like if you're enjoying this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more amazing recipes and food adventures. Get the dough from the fridge and cut into pieces about 60 grams each piece. Roll the pieces on the table, forming a ball shape, until they are nice and smooth. It can get sticky while on the table, but it's fine. So for the buns, I will bake some of the pieces together into a loaf pan. Add all the pieces evenly. It will be about 8 pieces. They should be one beside each other. For the other shape, I will bake the balls into a 6-inch cake pan. Proof them for 1.5 to 2 hours, until you see they're very puffy, touching each other. Brush the tops with egg wash, one egg and about one tablespoon of milk beaten. Bake then in a preheated oven 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes or until the tops are golden brown. In 
if you're not sure if they're baked inside, you can use a thermometer to check inside temperature. Let them cool down completely before removing from the pans. So, for the loaf pan, you have the most basic brioche buns that you can use for mini sandwiches, dinner rolls, and side breakfast buns. The cake pan gives them a very beautiful shape. I like to fill this one with Nutella or any other delicious cream that you like, like Dolce de Leite, Vanilla Pastry Cream, or any flavored pastry cream would all be amazing. Put your cream filling into a piping bag. Make some small cuts into the buns using a piping knife. Pipe the cream into the buns. And why not add some on the top? These buns are really a recipe that everyone should know how to make. They go with almost everything and feel and taste just amazing. So buttery and fluffy, and with this beautiful golden color. So everyone, now you know how to make the most incredible golden brioche bun. This was such a great first episode, one of many incredible French recipes to come. Let me know in the comments below if you have any French recipe that you'd like to see here. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Ciao! And how they say, okay, so I'm in French, and has, and has, and as they say in France, como somos? Como son? Como sons? Como son? Como son? It's good.